So we have the same base engine as our PC360, same size machine. This is about 4,000 pounds heavier. Same size machine effectively. We're using the same base engine, but because of the electric architecture, you're getting 70 additional horsepower from the electric side. So we didn't downsize the engine to compensate that 70 to say, hey, it's the same total horsepower as a standard machine. No, we're providing you about 338, 339 horsepower, and you're getting a lot of performance bang out of it. Fuel savings is up to 20% on a hybrid machine compared to a traditional machine. First thing I want you to hear is like how quiet this is compared to a uh, traditional SUV. Runs on an ultra low idle at 700 RPM. If you look at the machine, you have a motor generator right there. The You see the hex bolts, the plan that made it to the engine. And what that does is the flywheel creates uh, energy, kinetic energy, converts it into electricity. And the pumps are made into the motor generator. So that's a two-way street. They can create electricity and pull electricity from a capacitor and send it to the pump. On this side, our low voltage batteries got moved back. Again, they're relatively heavy, right? There's an additional cooler. Our electric motor is uh, liquid cooled. It has uh, antifreeze and coolant running through it. So there's a separate cooler, dedicated cooler for the electric motor. So this is the capacitor, okay? And everything is everything's sealed on this, so you can't really touch it. Um, so it's all guarded away. But you see these three slits up there? So if you look up down in there, you'll see a LED light, either one or two lights. And that denotes whether the capacitor has electric charge or not. So that means the capacitor is currently charging, right? So you don't necessarily need to be a licensed electrician to work on it. When you're servicing the machine, right, if you had to do service on a capacitor, again, the capacitors are warranted for seven years, 15,000 hours. So we have a high, high warranty and high reliability on these capacitors. And there's no regular maintenance needed on capacitors. So, but in an event we have to remove it for some reason, we have a discharge tool for our customers or for our dealers that basically, it's a heating element that heats up, discharges a charge, and then it's a safe system. Otherwise, another way to look at it, when there's no light on that LED light is not on, means the system does not have any voltage, right? It's nominal 10 volts on there or something along that line. So if you have the machine just sitting there for a week or a weekend, sometimes you're not gonna see a charge. When you start the machine early in the morning, it high idles for about 60 seconds, and that's what's charging the capacitor. So you see this engine running? Right? So you heard the engine roll up. So the system is smart enough, they'll say, hey, what is the charge on the capacitor? If the charge goes below an extra percentage, it'll raise the RPM back up to a level of a traditional machine, you have to do to trigger the hybrid technology or anything along that line. It just works on the background. For the latest in construction equipment, sign up for our daily newsletter. Just click the link below.